The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration is investigating another Boeing incident. This comes after a United Airlines plane lost an external panel before landing in Oregon from San Francisco yesterday afternoon. While the plane managed to land safely, it's once again putting Boeing's reputation and safety record into the spotlight. Joining us now is a man who has thousands of hours under his belt flying Boeing jets, Richard Levy, a retired commercial airline captain and aviation expert. Good to see you again, Captain Levy. Good to see you, Joe. So lots to cover here, Captain, but let's start with yesterday's incident. United Airlines says it's also investigating this latest issue involving a lost panel and that no emergency was declared because there was no indication of the damage during the flight. How easy is it for something like this to go unnoticed, and does this concern you? It does not concern me whatsoever, Joe. This 737 airplane was not a MAX. It was an older 737. Actually, United purchased it from another airline before there was a, a merger has, that took place many years ago. In any event, the piece fell off, did not affect pressurization on the airplane whatsoever. If the piece was that critical that would affect the integrity of the airplane or pressurization, the crew would have received a warning bell, horn, light, and they received none of this. This did not affect the airworthiness of the airplane. The airplane did not just come out of the Boeing factory. It was an older aircraft. The airplane landed safely. Yes, it's gonna be under investigation because of the recent news with Boeing. But as far as safety, this does not concern me whatsoever. And this United Airlines flight that landed in Oregon marks the seventh reported incident involving a Boeing this week alone. Now, obviously planes losing hardware doesn't happen every day, but some of the other emergency landings we've heard about, like the American Airlines Boeing 777 that was forced to land in Los Angeles due to mechanical issues on uh, Wednesday. How common are those? Are we just hearing about them because of the recent spotlight on Boeing? Well, Joe, you're talking about something I love very much. My last 13 years with a major U.S. airline was on the Boeing 777. And coincidentally, I had the same issue with an airplane uh, many years ago. It was a low pressure on one of the tires. And in this case, they felt it was low enough that they did not want to continue on to... Um, across the Pacific, so they landed. And the, there was uh, zero relevance to safety of the airplane. Did the crew make a great decision? Absolutely. We don't take risks in aviation. Land the airplane if that's the safest option to take, and they took that. Now, a few days ago, we learned the National Transportation Safety Board doesn't know who worked on the Boeing 737 door plug involved in the Alaska Airlines blowout from earlier this year, and that the video footage was overwritten. And then just last week, the Wall Street Journal reported that the Department of Justice has launched a criminal investigation into that midair blowout. How common is it for the DOJ to get involved in incidents like this, and what do you think their investigation will find? It is very rare indeed, Joe. It's a good question. Uh, they're looking at the possibility of criminal activity. Did somebody intentionally uh, forget to put the bolts on or was it a human oversight? And that will be found out through uh, depositions and hearings. It's very, very rare. I do not even recall the DOJ getting involved in any aircraft mishap during my 41 years uh, flying for a major airline or uh, since then. And this week, a Boeing whistleblower was found dead in South Carolina. His family has since released a statement saying that he tried to highlight serious concerns but was met with a culture of concealment that valued profits over safety. Uh, now, last time we spoke, you mentioned that to restore its reputation, Boeing needs to have some serious internal conversations about safety and quality control during its manufacturing process. Can the company salvage its reputation? 100%. They can, and Boeing makes great airplanes. We know that Boeing is under the spotlight right now, Joe, but I also receive safety reports daily through the internet, through reliable email sources. And would you also believe that Airbus has issues, not daily, but almost every day, that are next to meaningless? They're, they're reported, the airplane sometimes turns around and returns to land, and the other times they continue on. But because of the door plug issue with Alaska Airlines, the focus is on Boeing. But I stick with what you and I talked about last time, Joe. Yes, quality assurance needs to be stepped up. 
needs to, it is being stepped up and it will be enforced by the National Transportation Safety Board and the United States Federal Aviation Administration. All right, and you also mentioned the last time that you'd be 100% comfortable traveling on a Boeing jet with your family tomorrow. Is that still the case? And what would you say to people who might have an upcoming trip on a Boeing? It's a good question, Joe, and I get the question very often. I would have zero hesitation to grab my wife and fly on a Boeing 737 MAX 8 or 9, any type of Boeing 737, 777, or any Boeing product. I flew these Boeing airplanes 41 years, had a great uh, time flying them, and I had uh, really no engine shutdowns, one precautionary shutdown in 41 years. Boeing makes a good product. Do they need to clean house a little bit here based on what the NTSB has found out in their investigations? Absolutely. I think this is what we call in aviation a course correction, and it will the course correction will be made, to use that metaphor, and Boeing will be producing more and more airplanes, and they're going to be good airplanes, safe airplanes. And for the listening public, they should have no hesitation to fly on a Boeing airplane. All right. Well, I'm sure that's comforting for uh, viewers to hear. That's uh, Richard Levy, a retired commercial airline captain and aviation expert. Thanks so much for your time.